Hello, my name is Anna Sumner and I'm a mixed media fiber artist from Cary, North Carolina. I'm making a series of videos to demonstrate the basic stitches in silk ribbon embroidery. Today I'll be working on a feather stitch. Uh, the materials I'll be using is a number 26 Chanel needle because of the big eye hole, 4 millimeter silk ribbon embroidery, and stabilized fabric. I've threaded my needle, and if you want to know how to thread the needle, you could go to the thread the needle video. You will bring the needle uh, where you want it from behind the fabric. Now, on a feather stitch, you will work from the top to the bottom. So if you want the feather stitch on the piece of fabric you're working, um, you need to start it at the top of where you want that feather stitch to begin. You pull it through, make sure it's straightened from the point of entry, and then hold on to it and you're going to make a V. So it looks like this, like the letter V. Then you will go back into the fabric about catty corner to where you entered, not evenly, but catty cornered, and then bring it through the back and make sure your ribbon is somewhat straight. There you go. And then you will bring the needle at the center of the V. There you have the V shape. The next step is you will bring it back down on the on one side or the other. It doesn't matter which side you bring it to and just bring the needle sort of below where you entered on the top and create another V. So there's the V shape and then you bring it through the center of the V and pull it through. So here, now we are have two V's kind of following each other. Now we're going to do one on the other side. So there's my V shape right there. Bring it into the fabric and I, and I do it about, see, catty corner to that point of entry. So bring it through there's my V shape. Go ahead and insert the needle at the center of the V and you have a feather stitch. And then to finish it off, just go down about the length of here to here and there's, there's a stitch. Go ahead and slip it off slip stitch at the back to secure it up oh, and see it's really imperative that you do it between the stabilizer and the uh, fabric so you don't get these little nicks of fabric coming through your fabric uh, so to do it again you just get it between the stabilizer and the fabric and I did it again and you see there you don't see it and that's how you do a feather stitch